Converting external documents to a high quality knowledge base is probably the single most important step when you're building ARAC applications. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can turn PDF documents that contains images and tables into markdown files that are going to contain both the tables and the descriptions of the images. We're going to be building a completely local pipeline that uses Doclink and OAMA that is going to convert your PDF files into Markdown. While Doclink supports a lot of document formats such as Word documents, Excels and HTMLs, we're going to be focusing on PDF files since they are by far the most challenging format and one of the most used in production. Here we have a very simple pipeline that contains three different components, a PDF reader, which is going to be PyPDFM2. Since our documents are going to be digital PDF files, we don't want to do any OCR extraction. We just want to read the text from the PDF files themselves. Then we're going to be using a table transformer or a table former model that is provided by Doclink. And with this transformer model, we're going to be able to get much more high accuracy for our table extraction. And since we are going to be focusing on financial documents, these are going to be very important since those documents are pretty table heavy. And the last component is going to be the image understanding. Most of those documents will contain some types of charts and other images. And we're going to be using an image extractor within the Doclink library. In our case, our image extractor is going to be a visual language model. And this is going to be an external dependency to the Doclink pipeline. We're going to be using OLAMA. And in our case, this is going to be the Coin3 VL model that I'm going to be running on my local machine. So the complete pipeline is going to be running entirely locally on your machine. And once all of these procedures are done, the Docklink library is going to do some markdown formatting for us and output the files into a markdown file. Doclink is a very flexible library and you can replace the PDF reader if you have, for example, some scanned PDF with an OCR engine. In this case, this might be the Tesseract or the Rapid OCR or Easy OCR. The Doclink library supports a lot of options or you can replace the complete pipeline with a visual language model. But in my opinion, if you still have digital PDFs, it is better to stick to the good old PDF readers since they don't hallucinate the text or other elements within the PDF files, but they just extract them from the actual PDF structure. If you want to get access to the complete source code for this video, go and subscribe to ML Expert Pro. There, you're going to find a complete AI engineering academy that starts from setting up your environment. It goes through the Python and classical machine learning basics. Then it teaches you about the basics of LOM engineering and context engineering within RAC applications and AI agents. You're also going to be learning the basics of Langchain and how you can create your own tools and how to write more effective prompts. So if you want to become a better AI engineer, go and subscribe to ML Expert Pro. Thank you. The Docklink library is a open source and free project by IBM Labs that focuses on document processing and converting all types of documents into a markdown format that is going to be used into your Agentic or ARAC applications. In the last year or two, this library has been constantly improving and the results from it are getting even better and better. So no matter if you're going to be building a commercial grade or open source or a hobby project, I would recommend by starting with this library and looking at the results from parsing and processing of the documents. I'm in my local cursor instance and we're going to be taking a look at our document processing pipeline. The most important class into the Doclink library is the document 
converter. This is going to take the options that you want in order to read and convert your documents to the internal representation of the Doclink relay, which is going to be a Doclink document. But this is an abstraction that we're not going to be working with directly. We're going to be using just the document converter. Then we're going to be calling the convert method on a given PDF file. We're going to be taking the Doclink document that is going to be the result of the conversion. And then we're going to be exporting it to a markdown file that will contain also the image annotations that were being parsed from the original image. On top of that, we're going to be doing uh, some minor replacements of the annotations, and then we're going to be returning just the markdown string as a result. The use of this pipeline is pretty simple. We're going to be creating a path to the file, which is going to be a PDF file. Then we're going to be calling our function process document that is going to take the document from the data directory and we're going to be outputting the resulting markdown with the same name as the original PDF file to a markdown file. In order to create our pipeline, we're going to be having two additional options that are going to be describing how we want to do the conversion. The more important part here is that within our document converter for the PDF conversion, we're going to be using PyPDFM, which is going to be the PyPDFM2 backend that will do the actual reading of the PDF files. Then within the create PDF pipeline options functions, we're going to be specifying additional options that we want to use when converting our documents into our markdown representation. The first important thing here is that we want to enable remote services. This will allow us to call our OWAMA instance when we're doing the picture or image descriptions that we have. And the next one is that we don't want to do any OCR on the PDF files since we're going to be using just digital PDF files. Then we also want to do table structure recognition, and this will be used using this table structure options, which we're going to be using with the table former model in a high precision mode. Then we also want to enable the picture images, the generations of those, and we want to enable the picture image descriptions. So we will have annotations of the images within the final markdown instead of the images. And we have a single create picture description options, which is going to be the OWAMA URL call to our VLM model, which in our case is going to be coin 3 VL, the 2 billion parameter version of the model. If you have a larger or beefier machine, you can of course use a much more powerful model in order to get even better descriptions of your images within the documents that you're going to be passing in. Here we have the complete configuration of the parameters along with the visual language model. I don't want the model to do any thinking before answering and the maximum number of tokens that I want the model to output, as well as the prompt that we're going to be using when we're going to be extracting individual images. So when Doclink sees an image is going to be getting cropped out from the PDF, then it's going to be using this prompt and together those are going to be passed to our local OWAMA instance to the CoinTrivial model. And based on the result of that, the image is going to be replaced with the annotations or descriptions from the visual language model in OWAMA. On top of that, you can see that I want also to have page break placeholders, and this will be really important when we're doing the additional rack chunking, so we will know where a page is going to be ending and the new one is going to be starting. Then I'm going to be also replacing this description and annotation tags with the image description and image description end. And to convert our document into a markdown file, I'm simply going to be running the pipeline. This will go and load all of the Doclink documents, including those for table understanding. And it is going to run 
through the VLM in order to describe the images and this took roughly 8 or 9 seconds to complete. The resulting markdown from this PDF conversion is here on the right within my cursor instance and we are seeing the text and some of the image descriptions. For example, for this chart right here, we're seeing that the Quen3 VL model is saying the graph illustrates a sustained uptrend in historical performance. And you can see that this quite well explains what is being displayed on the chart. Note that this doesn't specify anywhere. This is an S&P 500 chart, so the model doesn't know that. And this is actually correct within the description of it. On the next page, we also have a table which is correctly extracted from the PDF as well. And we have a description of the pie chart right here. So pretty much this was a great conversion from the PDF file here on the left into a markdown. I have a very simple local replication running Gemma 3, the 4 billion parameter model. And this has loaded the complete markdown file that we have just converted. And I'm going to be asking questions about it. What is the document about? And you can see within the response that we are getting that this is an S&P 500 price analysis document. So oh, I'm going to be asking a specific number for 2022 the annual return was minus 19.44 percent and all of this is given within this document so i would say that this works quite well of course for this very simplistic rack application we have created a local pipeline that converts pdf files into markdown format that has text tables and image descriptions. All of this runs entirely locally using Docklink and OWAMA. And don't forget, if you want to get access to the complete source code, go and subscribe to Ammo Expert Pro. In this video, we saw how we can create this pipeline. And in the next one, I'm going to show you how you can use the resulting markdown file and convert it into a chunked document that you can later use for better rack applications thank you for watching guys please like share and subscribe also let me know down into the comments of this video what are your favorite pipelines that are going to be converting pdfs into markdown formats and do you have some other tips and tricks when you're doing the conversion using doclink or other libraries thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye